renovating the entire world of Sam Aishino that came with The Sims 4 City Living, and we've made such good progress, we're definitely well over halfway. Each apartment we try and go for a certain aesthetic and different storyline, but one aesthetic we haven't done yet is a gothic apartment, and I've got the perfect apartment that's modern, that I think we should give a modern gothic twist and like put lots of plants everywhere. I feel like it's gonna be really fun, it'll look really good. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and if you want even more than my regular videos, you can also become a member, which is a great way to support the channel and get access to bonus challenges, behind the scenes videos and updates. So the apartment that I was thinking would be perfect is this one over here, 920 Medina Studios, which is a quiet lot. And it also has the lot challenge of being spooky, so I thought it would go with the gothic aesthetic really well. And it's already quite a dark looking apartment and it has that you know, gothic feel about it. It's said a medium once lived in this spooky little place. Who knows what strange after effects may linger here. So we're thinking about a medium having lived here. Maybe we can use some of the paranormal stuff pack items. Quiet, maybe it's the insulation or maybe the neighbors are very polite. Either way, it's never noisy here. A little bit strange, but also handy. Spooky, for some inexplicable reason, this lot attracts wandering ghosts. Perfect. And then opposite this, we've already done the Benali household, which I loved this renovation we did. And then we're still yet to do 930 Medina Studios, which is quite a big one. So if you have any ideas for what style of apartment we should do over there, comment down below. Would love to hear your ideas. Now, in terms of the floor plan of this place, I feel like it's actually not that bad. We've seen some pretty funny looking floor plans, which usually we have to kind of redo the whole thing. But this one, I don't think we need to change that. That much. The only thing that's annoying about this apartment is the lack of windows over on this side of the house. Like you only have this. That's the only window and we can't add any more windows. Uh, so the main bedroom has just one tiny window in the corner, not ideal. At least this one gets a slightly bigger window. But again, I don't really like when the windows are shoved into the corner, sadly, but oh well. I think we could either add an ensuite if we wanted to, or we could extend the lounge room by making this shared bedroom a little bit smaller because this living area, dining and kitchen seems quite small in scale compared to the main bathroom and the bedrooms. Just doesn't look very balanced to me. So I think we'll change that up a little bit. And how, f how strange that this rug is not like directly under the bed, it's slightly to the side. I mean, I'm all for asymmetrical symmetry, but it's just a little, a little funny daddy. Maybe a ghost moved it. Are these lights? Is it just mirror of the lights like really low down on the wall? Yeah, it's interesting. It's not too bad. I mean, the mirror is covering up the only window, but you know, maybe they like it nice and dark in here. Then we've got lots of reds. Maybe the goths used this apartment. It's the goths like city apartment. I like the twin bed idea. I do like a diagonal rug. That's always fun. And then down here, we've got a clock sitting quite far out from the wall, which is again, Interesting. Some already gothic looking furniture, a freestanding stove. I mean, how weird is that? <laughs> my house, if you've seen my vlog channel, Deli Diary, sometimes I upload like vlogs of just day to day life and living. And we actually moved into our house with a freestanding dishwasher. So it's kind of like this, but it's a dishwasher and it's, it's a bit weird. It's actually a decent dishwasher though. Very loud. All right, and then in here's the bathroom. And again, interesting, whoa, I don't know what happened there. Interesting positioning of the lights. It's a bit fuddy-duddy, as I like to say. So how about we just start making a few little changes? I do wanna refurnish the place, so I am gonna delete the furniture, but I think we should definitely still have lots of candelabras. I wanted to add greenery. I might change the floorings to something a little different. And what I'd really like to have, because it's quite a modern building, is have the contrast of maybe lighter walls with like dark feature walls in some rooms and really dark like black furniture too. So there's a bit of contrast. Cause it's really easy to be like, oh, we're doing a Gothic apartment. Let's like make every black wall and piece of furniture black. But I feel like we can, we can be a little bit, a little bit more creative with modernizing it a bit. Right, I'm just gonna put some down lights in here so we can actually see what we're working with. And yeah, let's maybe just keep the one bathroom. I feel like I've done a lot of en suites recently. 
And then let's extend this area. We could even push this entire wall back like that and have a little study nook. And I just feel like this, this makes more sense. And then instead of having like feel uneven right here, let's put in some city living beams. Yeah, these right here, because this is a nice way to keep it still open, but still give it the idea that it does actually line up. And it also helps make the rooms feel a little bit separate. Actually, let's go full height. Let's go full height. All right. So I know some of you guys are gonna be sad that we brighten up the walls and floor a bit, but don't panic. I promise we're gonna have lots of black in here and we might even change the walls later. And then we've got so many like great wallpapers like this that I wanna use. So we can definitely use those in the bedrooms, like this one from Paranormal Stuff. I really want to use this. Or even in the dark blue color. Or even in the purple. I might even like put those into the bedroom right now. Yeah, I'd go with this kind of flooring. To me, it just looks a little newer, I guess. So it makes the outside of the building suit the interior a bit more. And I really wish we had different front doors because you just don't see doors like this in Australia in newer buildings. And you don't see doors with glass in them usually in an apartment building. So yeah, I really wish I could change that, but oh well. I mean, looking at this right now, we could even do a little bit of an inset wall here. And that could also be like a feature wall, which would be cool, potentially. And yeah, we might change all of these white walls. If it looks really bad, we won't keep them. So just give me a sec to figure out the look and feel, you know? I think over here, we should do the kitchen. The other idea I just had is maybe we could do like navy walls in here, like really deep dark blue would be cool. For the kitchen, I wanna use the Home Chef Hustle stuff pack. I don't know why, I really struggle to say that Home Chef Hustle. The hustle I, get, I struggle with, anyway. I wanna use that and I'm wondering, do we go like all black kitchen or do we wanna go this gray color? Cause I really like that countertop. Let's maybe start with the gray. Cause I wanna also have a lot of gold accents in here. And I do think that's going to look really good because this has some gold accents built into it. Got a nice edge here. Do we want that edging on the other side as well? <sighs> when I do stuff like this, I just think how annoying it would be to vacuum that section. <laughs> Does anyone else think like that or just me? Actually, we'll put the fridge in here. I love this new stuff pack. Cause we got early access to this stuff pack. They didn't give us any information about anything in the pack. So I feel like when I did my review, I missed so much because all of the blog posts and information about it came the day after mine posted. So even like this cookbook here where you can click on it to act and interact with it, I had no idea about that. So hopefully in the future they uh they can give us like some notes. That would be really good. I think for this, maybe we go with the black cabinets. So we have a bit of a two-tone thing going on. Okay, cabinet there, cabinet there. Do we wanna do some shelves in the corner? And we'll do an end cabinet, I think, and extend the shelves. I put those up a little bit too high. What should we do? Oh no, that, that looks a bit odd, doesn't it? Let's go like that. Then we'll do a sink over here. We wanna go gold or maybe we'll just, oh, there's actually no black sink. So Surprisingly, uh, I guess we'll go with the goldy colors. Ideally, they'd have vintage plates sitting on there, I think. And these little half dishwashers are perfect for apartments. I wish they could fit into the, the end counter piece. That would be really nice. Okay, we'll decorate all of this later, but at least we've got um, the general look and feel of this space. Yeah, I think we'll do some different tiles back there too. How exciting though, getting to use the stuff back in the builds, like the new counters. I'm so happy about all I want is more counters. Actually, I want a lot more than just counters. We all know that. <laughs> But man, it feels good to have you count it. Now, table. Actually, I think, do we have like an actual gothic style in here? I don't think we have gothic per se, but I think vintage, Queen Anne, maybe even French country. Yeah, like this table from Vampires is pretty good, or even just this one from Base Game. Oh yeah, I like the Base Game one. That's perfect. And we're definitely gonna have some gothic chairs. I think just all black. There's these ones. Oh my gosh, these vampire chairs are pretty amazing. I think these base game ones are probably the best. There we go. I feel like we need white roses. And I know the exact ones, these, ooh, or 
the black roses. Or these, those look cool. They would look so good with a wall like this. We got these new tiles with the stuff pack. These ones from Parenthood actually look pretty good too. Maybe we go with those. I'm pulling out so many different rugs here just to find the right one. I really like this dark bluish one. I feel like we should definitely use that. Love this one as well. Maybe that could work for the dining area because it got too much white in it i feel like sizing up this one is too much and then when it's it's regular size it's too small what happens if we size this one down it's not too bad i think we should have black sheer curtains the more i'm looking at it i'm not really liking the tiles i picked for this area i wonder if we could work with some bricks i love this navy blue color i mean that's the other thing we could just go like with a blend of navy i was just getting a whole heap of random objects out that i feel like will look good in this apartment and i just remembered i totally forgot the bin Again, always do that. I feel like we need a coffee maker in here. And I wish the ceilings weren't so high because you can't really see our hanging plants as well. But they're up there. I really like these flowers, but I would like to have them in a different vase. Put these plates up. They're kind of cool. Maybe this frame in the corner there. Okay, we're starting to make developments. This is so cool. Make a little urn collection over here. A little creepy. Maybe we have the gold tea set here. And I just remembered lighting. We could have some nice old chandelier lighting. Whoa. Is that too big for the apartment though? Like, is it too much? I mean, if the ceilings were lower, I would go with this one in the all black or the gold, but it doesn't hang low enough. I mean, it is pretty cool. I've filtered vampires and paranormal stuff to see what other furniture we want to use. There's this really cool desk from paranormal stuff that I quite like. Oh my gosh, we could have just a casual organ in the corner. The seance table, that would be cool to use. I don't know if we can fit it in there. I suppose the second bedroom could be a seance room. Oh my gosh, we have so many like cool couches and things. Okay, I just pulled out so much stuff. <laughs> oh boy, this is a lot. Okay, the seance table, we don't have to have four chairs, I don't think. So maybe that could actually sit in the hallway. Although I feel like if you're doing seances and you have a seance table, then you don't really want to shove it in a hallway, you know, it would be in a more central spot. This table is so divine. I love it with the painting on it. And I love this chair too. This chair is so cool. I like the green, actually. We could go for that greeny color. We could put a grandfather clock here in the hallway. And yeah, I'm tempted to make that room a seance room instead of a kid's room. And then if you download it, obviously you can change it to whatever you want it to be. Patch in there. This can be a little desk area that is so cute so cute you could put a tv here i mean i like the greenery but maybe that's a little a little much maybe we're better off doing a more vintage approach we have so many plants plants for days okay i feel like this tree and the candelabra are a little bit of like a fire hazard <laughs> that looks sick with the pattern underneath i like that a lot we could do a bit of a mirror collage over here it's like multiple vintage mirrors put on the wall I was looking at oh, this wedding someone had and they had it in like a, I think they had it in their favorite cafe, but they replaced all of the cafe's pictures with antique mirrors. It's pretty cool. For like their, their wedding reception. Better at slightly different heights though. So the Sims can't really use these per se, but they'll be able to maybe use this one from the side. I might put the dream catcher in the bedroom. Is that where dream catchers are meant to go? I suppose it doesn't necessarily matter. Yeah, I think we'll be able to fit a really little, we could fit a really little lamp here or maybe a little candle. We've just got to find the right looking little candle. Or maybe this this one. That's cool. That's really cool, actually. I love that. Love, 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 love. This is such a cool, weird, creepy apartment. I'm sure some of you guys have a gothic interior style and this is your type of thing. I mean, it's a cool way to live. I kind of wish I was more into this stuff or more into vintage stuff. I feel so boring and conventional. <laughs> The moons are nice. Oh, we're gonna need a chair. That could actually help at a desk, unless it's a standing desk. This one's a nice size, I feel. They have like some red on it and do more of a brown chair. The more I'm looking at this, the more I don't like the white wallpaper idea. Like initially I thought that would look really good, but I think in real life, yes, but maybe in The Sims, it's better if we have actual wallpapers. I mean, that green is really beautiful because it ties in with like all the green in the apartment and also our green 
chair. Oh, all of this black patterned wallpaper looks awesome. Well, there's that original idea I had with the navy, which I think I really like because it still looks like it's the modern building. I don't know, I feel like we could do any of these ideas and they all look good. Let's do a combination of the, the navy with the black. And that's kind of cool, like it's been it's got half wallpaper to keep it interesting. And then the navy bricks. I like that hint of red as well. A lot of people think like Gothic is just all black, all gray, nothing else, but it's a lot more nuanced than that. I mean, it can be all of that. Put these guys behind the TV, a little bit of vampire love. If you like playing with the cults, you could definitely turn this into a vampire house if you wanted to. Actually, let's go with this. Let's go the more botanical look. I'm gonna size that down as well so it doesn't take away from the TV too much. With my members recently, we, we did, recently we did a shell challenge and I loved looking at the builds because there were so many great ideas. And it reminded me of placing a few dining chairs just slightly off the table to make it look a little bit more lived in and realistic. Is that it? It just looks cool, don't you think? Quite convincing. Same thing with the rugs, having them slightly off, especially in a haunted house where things might just not be quite right. Something feels slightly off. Hey, I just realized this isn't a bad build to do during like Halloween month. This house is desperately in need of a nice bookshelf, I feel. So I was gonna put this plant thing here in the corner and oh my gosh, I can't believe in another video, I put it this way that's how I placed it and it's meant to go this way it's like so embarrassing I don't know what I was thinking that day but I suppose it's probably more useful having a bookshelf in here we could also have a really really tall one like this yeah that's cool I like that and we'll put this random batu urn thing there maybe we'll make these doors a dark brown now that our walls aren't all white. Love these chairs. These chairs are so good. A little bit of a symmetry situation here in the hallway. And then I definitely feel like we need a nice long hallway rug. Don't worry, we're gonna deal with all of these items soon. I've created a bit of a mess. It's like when you do an art project at home, you just get everything out and it's all over the floor. It's like that, but in Sims. Let's maybe do this custom length Victoria runner. This was from Vampires. It's a piece I don't use that much, but it's a really good asset to have for builds. What color? Oh, that green is divine. <laughs> Okay, now I feel like it has to line up with these red chairs. Beautiful, just gorgeous. I love that these books from the reading kit, you can actually stack them on one another and then you can place objects on top of them too. And it's great you can place any object on them in case you want to size it down. That was a good, a good little kit. You put a plant on top of it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And a coffee mug. You know what? I do think that we need some lighting on the walls. Yeah, some candelabras, maybe in black so they're not as, they don't stand out quite as much. Or maybe this looks better. I really like these. These look like earrings upside down. Okay, I'm really happy with this lounge room. I think that looks really cool. And I like the kitchen as well. And I know we're spending a lot of money in this build, so it's gonna be an expensive apartment to live in. But it sure does look cool. Okay, let's work on maybe a purpley reddish seance room. I don't know much about seances, but I do feel like you would have a lot of incense and low lighting candles. I'm just gonna put a whole heap of candles around here. Some sage as well. Get rid of the bad energy or clear the energy. Oh, we did get this shelf in paranormal stuff. Could be nice. A backup bowl there. You never know when you might need one. Oh my God, should we put some false teeth in here? <laughs> uh, that's so weird. No, 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 it's too creepy. It, it's too much. I can't do it. Let's put Gildry up on the wall. Yes. Okay, how are we looking in here? Pretty good. Oh my gosh, all of this furnishing is actually taking so long. I've almost been doing this for two hours. Obviously for you guys, it's a lot shorter. Oh my God, the saddest window ever. We'll do a little trick. If we put the curtain on the left-hand side, sometimes it can kind of look like the window is slightly wider. Kind of looks like it, if you don't look too closely. Now we could go full-blown gothic bed, which let's be honest, is pretty cool. The four poster is very cool, but I also want it to be 
be realistic. Like this bed would be awesome. Is that, this is from high school years, but I actually think that's perfect. This is such a big bedroom. Like, holy dooly, I think we can fit in a built-in wardrobe over here. Throw back to the crooked rug that was in here. We can place two rugs. Or we could do just the black bed. The black bed's cool too. Either of them look really good. Oh my gosh, I love this lamp. Even though it looks like it'd get really dusty. And yes, I know these are not the same side table, but we love a mismatch on this channel. Yes, we do. Love this mirror. We'll do it in the goldy color, I think. So pretty. Quite like these old trunks too. We could maybe put those somewhere. Although perhaps it's a little big. Ah, uh, yes, the egg chair from vampires is perfect. Or maybe it's cooler just to do a simple chair in here, like one of these. Or even just this, because it looks creepy. <laughs> it looks haunted. Pop this painting on the floor, like it hasn't really found a place on the walls yet. And we'll do another one of these poofy things. Yes, can't seem to get enough of those. And maybe we need something at the end of the bed, like an ottoman. I find this bedroom, you know, a little creepy, to be honest. It's this wooden chair. All we need is one of those creepy dolls in here to spawn and we're good to go. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a red wardrobe. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. Maybe we'll do another painting just leaning here up against the wardrobe. Yeah. I would put creepy cobwebs and scratches on the walls, but this apartment building's too new. <laughs> if it was an old apartment building, then yes. We could actually do more blue in this bedroom if we wanted to instead of the black, like do that. Maybe we'll do that for a change. And then I'll reverse these. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I think both look good. We'll go either way, I think. All right, last of all, let's just do a quick sna snave <laughs> save. Then we need to do the bathroom. It would be cool to have all like the creepy old vampire toilets and stuff, but I feel like the bathroom in this building would be relatively normal other than maybe they opted for black fittings and maybe a vintage bathtub. Let's go for the reddish theme in the bathroom. I want a beautiful vintage mirror. Actually, I might need to reuse this one. I'll position the lights next to it. Try and get them level. Get some nice skincare stuff in here. Hand lotion, hair dryer. I mean, you gotta have all of your stuff. Okay, I think that's done. All right, so we have our finished apartment. I reckon this is like 70 or 80,000 simoleons. 90,000 simoleons, holy moly. Well, we really went for aesthetic over budget. So let's take a look. All right, so you walk in and it looks so good. Actually, you know what we should do? We should paint the ceilings. That'll like just really bring it to the next level. I mean, why not at this point? Then we have a really cool seance room. I'm gonna take off my face cam because I feel like it's lagging a bit for some reason. But yeah, this is our awesome seance room. Maybe a little bit creepy, but I think it looks awesome. I really love the way the bathroom turned out with the golds and the reds. It's just very pretty. And then we have our amazing lounge room with heaps of clutter. There's so much in here and I'm really glad we ended up going with the navy walls in the end. I love the green couch so much and the red as well and just there's just so much stuff, so much stuff. And our little study nook as well. And then here is our very beautiful dining room and kitchen with the chandelier. Very nice, loving those new counters and cupboards and kitchen things. And yeah, that's the build. Let me know what you guys thought. Or let me know what you guys think. I wanted to say a huge thank you to my members so much for supporting this channel. If you'd like to become a member to get access to bonus videos, challenges, behind the scenes stuff, and updates, you can join by clicking the link in the description down below. Let me know what video you'd like to see next. And as always, I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you're on the world. And I cannot wait to speak to y'all all soon. Have a great week, you guys. Da-da!